Good morning, Professor. Morning. Good morning. So, um, uh, a very warm welcome to all the students from the batch of 2224. Uh, I am Anirban Banerjee from uh, IMT Hyderabad. Uh, I take care of admissions department as well as some other activities on the administration front. Now, we are conducting this session as we have received a couple of uh, queries from the students end wherein they would like to understand in detail on the arrival part when they reach on campus, what happens next, right? The reporting and the registration guidelines, the MOP program. Um, so that is why we both are here. Uh, I'll invite Professor Dhananjay to this session. Uh, welcome professor for sparing your time and being here. Uh, so that you would be able to uh, take up the questions which come from the students and you can guide them uh, well in terms of when they land up on campus, what happens next, um, so that they are uh, in a comfort zone, that they are having an information beforehand okay, what will happen once they land on campus. Uh, that is why we are doing this session. This is the second part of the session. We have already done this session with uh, students a uh, week back. Uh, however, uh, post that also there were uh, new students who have come into the system. So we thought let us do it once again. Uh, without much delay, let us move into the session wherein I'll request professor to uh, answer your queries. Uh, he has already jotted down a couple of questions which are common in terms of queries which we have mapped from all the students. So we will, we will address those first and then we will take up your individual questions. Uh, that is how the flow of the session would be. Um, I would I would now request Professor to take it over from here on. Um, over to you, Professor. Right. So thank you, Anirban, and uh, warm welcome to all the participants uh, who are joining the session. Uh, appreciate the fact that you are joining because it communicates that you guys are interested in seeking information, and we are here to provide that information. Uh, Anirban and uh, members of the students admission committee had done a great job in the last session where they had provided a lot of details. Uh, still, we are getting some queries, which we really like because that means you are concerned and you are looking forward to. So uh, my brief introduction, I am Dhananjay Singh and I, I hope you guys had seen me in the session on personal branding. Uh, I teach courses on brand management and sales and channel management at IMT Hyderabad. And I'm also the chairperson admissions. But today here I am with you, not in the capacity of chairperson admission, but as somebody who has seen the campus, student coming in, joining, reporting, and then carrying on the journey. So as Anirban has said, uh, what I'll do is first I'll share with you a few queries or a few questions which have been coming to us, answer them. Then if there are any questions related to that, we'll take it up, both me and Anirban. After that, I'll brief you on the very well planned and very engaging event called Abhyoday, which is our management orientation program. And the best for the last, we are going to announce uh, the competition, which we are really looking forward to, and that we will do at the end. And uh, post the session, we are going to also share the recording of the session with others because I'm sure there are some who are not able to join for various reasons. So the recording of the session will also be shared uh, after the session. Now, this is not in any order, whatever questions have been coming to me and whatever I have noted, I'm just going to address them one by one. So uh, recently there was a question where somebody had posted that uh, uh, my final term examinations are clashing with the MOP schedule. Uh, the MOP is starting on 28th and somebody is supposed to write his or her final term exam starting from June 24th. So what do I do? Because attending MOP is mandatory, but writing my exam is equally important. So kindly listen to this. All those students who are having any formal mandatory engagement, like writing an examination, are requested to share share or send an email to the admissions committee to the admission mail id sharing the date along with and proof of your examination it could be your hall ticket or it could be your registration number 
that I am appearing for so and so exam. This is my degree final year or degree second year or some some very important examination or some unavoidable important engagement. Post which we will revert to you saying that you have been given permission to write the exam and then report on campus because I cannot stop you from writing your examination because unless until you qualify, even if you have got the admission, your admission would be cancelled. So. The first question, the answer is all those students who are having examinations in whichever university they are studying and if it is clashing with the MOP schedule, kindly write a mail to the admissions committee through the admission ID, not committee, through the admissions mail ID. We will consider your case. Be rest assured your case will be positively considered. Then uh, there have been questions aglore on when I come to campus, who receives me on campus? How do I get my uh, hostel room? Uh, will there be people available on campus to guide me to my room? And uh, when my parents are coming with me, can they stay with me and such kind of things. First and foremost, uh, all of you are requested to start planning or probably you would have planned to reach campus starting from 18th morning, June 18th morning. Now somebody can ask me, sir, what if I am coming on 17th evening? I'm sorry, you, we will not be accommodating or we will not be uh, allowing students to come on 17th evening. We have put in place a process where 18th morning onwards, students can arrive on campus. Point number one. The moment you reach the campus, you would be handed over an envelope by the security gate at the security gate which will give you the, your hostel room and the security guide will guide you to your hostel room and you will be reaching your hostel room. Hostel rooms allocation are absolutely random in nature. So you cannot pick something, you cannot choose something and we have also not picked it. Uh, somebody may say, Ki, sir, those who are going first, do they have an advantage of getting the best room possible? The, 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 the outside view or the garden view and so on and so forth. Uh, none of those things are taken into consideration. It is purely random. So your hostel room allocations is done by the APO academic program office in discussion with the administration department. And the moment you reach the campus gate, uh, you will be allocated your hostel room and that room allocation will be there in the kit which you're going to receive. The kit will provide you with the Wi-Fi ID. The kit will provide you with the room where you are supposed to go and all other details which are required for you to appear for the reporting and registration process. Now, let's say somebody has come on 18th, but formally the MOP session starts on 20th. So does it mean that I have to wait till 20th for my reporting and registration process? The answer is no. What we are planning is on 18th afternoon or sometime in the evening, early evening, we will have the first slot of reporting and registration. First slot for those who have come. So the APO team would be there. They will complete the reporting and registration process for those who have come on campus on 18th. And for others who are coming on 19th and 28th, on 19th, we will have the reporting and registration process the whole day. And we're also going to repeat the same thing on 28th, either early morning or after the MOP session, after the inauguration session. So essentially your reporting and registration process is getting formalized on 18th afternoon, the whole day of 19th, as well as 28th, either early morning or 28th late evening. So the simple message is we are on campus to receive you and accommodate you and help you and assist you in your reporting and registration process. A detailed email and maybe in a day or two is going to reach your mailbox, which will detail you about all the things that I'm sharing with you in terms of the documents you need to carry, which I think Anirban had very well clarified in the last session, the documents you need to carry and things you need to bring on campus and all that. So, after you have reached the campus, let's say your room has been allocated. What are you going to get in the room? In the room, you'll be getting your cot. You will have a study table. You will have your almiras. Okay. Now, in addition to that, uh, you need utilities. Like you need your quilt, you need your gadda and all that. So for that, we are requesting vendors. 
which happens every year the vendor will come and display hey, their items on campus the place where reporting and registration is happening either you can buy from them or you can go to shamshabad which is 5 kilometers away from our campus and buy all your utilities okay so that takes care of your hostel accommodation utilities and other things now with some of your parents may be accompanying you when you are coming to campus as far as parents stay is concerned parents can be with you for the whole day on 18th and 19th okay their food their breakfast everything will be taken care by the institute but parents will not be allowed with allowed to stay with their kids when i say kids either you or anybody else on campus they can spend the whole day with you on 18th as well as 19th in case they are coming on 18th but in the evening they have to plan for their stay outside the campus and very close to the campus again in shamshabad there are good number of hotels very good hotels which can accommodate your parents in case they are interested to stay there okay so the simple point is parents are allowed to be with you in that day on 18th and 19th and 28th but way if if they are here on 18th 19th and 28th 18th and 19th they have to stay outside and after 28th afternoon parents will not be allowed to be on campus because on 28th the formal mop process would have started i am seeing a lot of queries are coming just hold on guys i know you are all very enthusiastic just hold on all your questions will be answered so i have answered about the final term exam i have answered about your arrival on campus i have also answered about uh, your parents accommodation on campus food and hospitality that will be taken care by us somebody had posted in the group regarding passport photo in business formals i say i i think abhishek mishra had given the right answer where you are supposed to have your passport photograph in business formals and that is good enough for us god forbid you are not able to get heavens are not going to fall you have we are living in age and times where your photo can be clicked and the print out can be taken maybe in a span of 15 to 20 minutes or half an hour but make sure that you bring the requisite things as mentioned in the email which will be reaching you in one or two days somebody had asked us a question where they had mentioned ki uh, in case we go for international exchange will there be extra charge any international exchange opportunity with our partner institution there is no additional fee but you have to take care of your flying and your visa charges so let us say one of you has opted for your international exchange with copenhagen business school because of the partnership we have you can go and spend your term there study there you are not going to pay any fee there but your travel and your visa you have to pay for that other than that you are not supposed to pay any other amount for your international exchange then uh, uh i was glad somebody had posted this question that uh, i would like to talk to the alumni so what is the forum where i can interact uh i think linkedin is the best option available to you through which you can interact with the alumni and in fact when we started this interaction sessions we did do few interactions with the alumni in fact i saw some enterprising student posting the link of the video in the group IMT H twenty two twenty four group, so that is a very commendable thing that was done. So there are not only one such video. I think there are about two three such videos. You can also watch those videos. You can connect with those alumni. They'll be very happy to connect with you. Guys, just one moment. Somebody is constantly calling. right so so uh you can interact with the alumni you can connect with them and they'll be very happy to interact and answer your queries or help you out in terms of when they came the campus what was the context and how things have changed for you so uh, 
Uh, I would certainly appreciate if you can connect with the alumni because we believe our alumni are doing really very well and you are going to be on the same path maybe two years down the line. So they are our brand ambassadors and they are the best representation of what an IMTH product or brand can be. Then there is a question on uh, anti-ragging document link. So as I said, we are going to share with you a formal mail. The mail will have the either the first mail or the second mail will have the link which you are supposed to click and fill the anti-ragging document or anti-ragging affidavit if required download and get it or submit online. But whatever is the instruction, whatever is the requirement, the instruction would follow. So do not get animated or excited ki matlab, I need to do this, I need to do that. Let me assure you all that the mails will very clearly point it out as to what is expected of you. And all those things can be done if you just spend about half a day on that, right? So as I say, the mail is getting ready. Maybe by today evening or by tomorrow, you will have your first mail detailing you about the complete reporting and registration process, right? Uh, as far as your reaching of campus is concerned, that has already been clarified. You can start coming to campus from 18th onwards. 28th, you're going to have your Abhyode or your orientation program starting. Let me see if there is anything else which has come, which I need to answer. Passport I have answered, anti-ranking international exchange has been discussed. Alumni interaction has been answered. So I think these were some of the questions that I wanted to first answer before we get into any specific questions on whatever we have discussed so far. Anirban, anything that we need to answer that you are seeing in the chat? No, as of now, there is no such questions on the chat. I'll just request you take a pause. Somebody has raised his hand. The name is coming as iPhone. I'm not able to see the name. If you <laughs> can just let, let, let iPhone unmute and ask the question. Karthik, can they unmute? Yes, sir. They can unmute, sir. Right. So whoever is iPhone, and I see there is somebody, Mohammad Rais, Mohammad Rihan. Yes, sir. Hey, sir, yeah. it's Mohammad Rihan. Can I ask? Yes, Rihan. Go ahead. Sir, uh, like you said, uh, can 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 we come on like twentieth uh, uh, morning, sir? And if my parents come along with me on twentieth morning, like how long can they stay uh, in twentieth? Uh, in so the Rihan, Rihan, yes. Rihan, you can you can come on twentieth morning, and your parents can stay from morning till late evening with you. Okay, sir. Like four o'clock, sir. Till four o'clock. But after that, they have to leave. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, fine, sir. Twentieth. Yeah, twentieth is fine. You can come on twentieth. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. But but just one point. See, on twentieth, we are having the inauguration session of the Abhyude program. Yes, so, sir. If possible, please try to reach the campus by nine a.m. Otherwise, okay. you'll miss the very important part of the Abhyude program. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, uh, there is one question before I go to Shilpa or iPhone. Uh, was iPhone, whoever it is, can I have the name or can you unmute and tell me your name? Okay, I don't know. Uh, there, is a, there is a question, I think, uh, which was also there in the group. Uh, each swap possible uh, in terms of PGDM to PGDM marketing. So these questions keep coming and these are routine questions that we get every day, uh, every year. So first point, is swap possible? The answer is yes. Straight away. Is swap possible right now? The answer is no. Because see what is happening is we have offered you courses or you have offered you programs on the basis of what you had specified in the form, in the application form and where you stand in the merit. So you come to the campus, you register for the program at the end of third semester, just before the end of third semester, academic program office will send you an email asking you to specify whether you're interested to shift from program A to program B. And subject to availability, which is always there. Right? Because see, we also don't fill all our seats because we have our cutoffs. So in case we don't have students who meet those cutoffs, in some of the programs, there may be some seats which are vacant. So straight away swap is possible, but otherwise 
the way you are thinking of moving from program a to program b there will be there will be somebody else thinking of moving from program b to program a so in that case it becomes mutual so to cut the long discussion short is swap possible yes is it possible right now no when is it done in the third trimester of your program has there been a case where the swap could not be entertained the answer is no it has always been entertained and it has happened so i see no reason why it should not happen for you but can it happen right now the answer is no uh then aditi is asking a question on how do i choose my international semester so aditi whenever we get an exchange opportunity first of all we check whether the place where you are going the credit requirement is met or not so see if you are doing your third term here or if you are doing your summer internship you earn some credits if you are going to the partner institution and if you are not meeting the credit requirement in that case you may not go for the exchange program so first criteria we see is whether you are able to meet the credit swap you are foregoing 10 credits here will you be able to earn 10 credits there in 3 months right if that is possible and you are able to clear the interview there is every reason you can go and pursue your program at our partner institution so few questions uh, if you can just uh, share the uh, uh, response of yours is it compulsory to stay on campus it is mandatory it is mandatory to stay on campus even if you have a house next to my campus which is a palatial house still you have to stay on campus yes it's a residential program so there is no option to it there is no dis further discussion on to it right now do we have to arrive on 18th is it compulsory what is the last date to arrive on campus uh you are you are supposed to start reaching the campus from 18th so you can come either on 18th or you can come on 19th but make sure that you are on campus by 28th morning so that you can start your abhyoday program by attending the inaugural session where we are having really good great speakers and very good event lined up for you which i'll be detailing at the in the next part of my discussion so most of well, most of the students here they are aware that imt hyderabad offers a single room occupancy on campus but just for uh, validation they wanted to know okay whether it is really that we offer single occupancy or not okay so you can uh, the the response to this question it has been asked by rishav rishav imt hyderabad only offer single occupancy accommodation to all students to each and every student on campus gets his or her single occupancy room <laughs> next is somebody is asking what are the hostel charges now let me tell you the hostel charges are a part of your fee schedule the total fee for 2 years for imt hyderabad is 12 lakh 3000 that is inclusive of your single occupancy stay on campus and mess charges it also includes the textbooks which will be given to you from the library for main courses which we have term wise so it is inclusive of each and every charge which for institute you have to pay there is nothing extra which apart from this fee schedule that institute will ask from you i hope that is clear on the fee structure Sir, they just were requesting you to repeat the point on what to bring with them when they when they are allocated the hostel rooms. I feel that is that question related to the utility part, okay, which they have to bring on their own. So I mean, uh, I I would suggest don't bring anything. Uh, you just need to bring your your own clothes, your 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 dress and all that. Uh, other than that, what you require on campus in terms of bed, your study table. Uh, uh, your uh, almira is is given in the room and other things i think you can procure from the local vendors uh, there is no need to carry that beyond that if you can bring bring some books bring your laptop i think you should all bring your laptop because ours is a 24 by 7 wifi campus i need not even talk about it uh, you can make good use of that and there is nothing else you need to bring ha agar ghar se bahar ja rahe ho to mummy ka diya hua achar leke aa sakte ho khane peene ka saman la sakte ho that's it There's nothing so else. So, what about mirrors and wall clocks? <laughs> you have mirrors. 
sir is it uh, shared washrooms or single washroom for every uh, uh, shared shared washroom okay sir for every every i think seven or eight or six or seven rooms you have uh, a, a shared play, uh, washroom place where you have got five or six uh, uh, washrooms or your whatever you call okay so on the dress code sir in terms of daily based classes and uh, i mean in terms of occasions if you can just so uh, as far as dress code is concerned so you see i have put on a shirt right you see anirban ha also has a shirt as long as you are wearing something like this which we which you guys call as smart casuals or even if you have a polo neck t-shirt and all it's fine when you are attending a regular class okay whenever we have some uh, ceo visiting the campus or we have a leadership series come uh, we have a leadership series or a cxo coming on campus we suggest again i am saying it is not mandatory we suggest that you come in business formals okay you you may have your blazers or you may have your coat or whatever it is it is suggested but when the leadership series is going on you certainly will not be allowed to enter with a uh, casual t-shirt or casual jeans and things like that but otherwise as far as class interaction is concerned on a daily basis smart casuals are fine uh, kindly make sure that you do not walk into the uh into the academic block in slippers okay please put on your shoe and then come there not because i want you to put on your shoe and demonstrate i want you to respect the academic area uh we respect it and we see a reason why you should also respect that otherwise pura campus aapke liye khali hai you can roam around on campus jog do whatever you want uh prepare discuss and all that but only in the Uh, academic area kindly be dressed whenever you come there be in smart casuals and wear your shoe put on your shoe okay so there is a question i'll just quickly respond to that yes we do have a photocopy facility on campus which can take care of your uh, printouts or any other documents which you require uh, sir i would like to uh, uh, request you to take this question and in fact we can take a pause from the question and connect with the mop because uh, students want to understand ke uh, the connection between mop and the commencement of term classes so because okay. people are asking ke when will the classes begin after 20th can we come back and again report when classes begin <laughs> so you if you if we'll take a pause with this question and you can uh, start with the mop and the term classes again we will come back to the question and answer right so i'll take the mop part just let me see if there is any any other question that i need to answer there is a question on laptop specification akanksha gupta uh the mail that comes to your akanksha will specify about the laptop specification but there is no nothing specific because we are not offering an engineering program so we need you need a laptop which can help you run your ms office and probably help you browse net uh, that is what i can give as a simple reply so then can then somebody ask saying, you last question nahi why last you ask many more questions but you can ask this question Okay, uh, sir. About the blazer, we have not given a particular color because it might be a dress code for everyone. Blazer we and coat. We do not have any mandate as far as the uh, as far as the color of the blazer is concerned. You can have your navy blue blazer. Somebody can have black blazer. Somebody can have grey grey blazer. Somebody can have some other color. But certainly not yellow, red, and all. I can understand. You can understand what I mean by that. Okay. Somebody sir. Saying, How so, rigorous? A one minute, just one moment. How rigorous is a program? Could you explain it? <laughs> so uh, let me put it this way: You guys are joining the program because, and see, whenever I speak, I speak in a very frank and very clear way. So you guys are joining the program because you believe IMT Hyderabad can make a difference to your career. you have seen our placement reports you have seen the kind of companies coming on campus and you believe we can be the catalyst in providing the propulsion to your career which means we have to prepare you so that when companies come on campus more number of students and many of you are able to crack those placements so when goldman sachs come on camp comes on campus they do not listen to me they have their own selection criteria when bain and company comes on campus it has its own selection criteria and same applies to marico and same applies to any other company on my campus so in order to in order to facilitate good selection in placements or maybe good corporate credentials 
we have designed the program in such a way that you find it engaging and for that to become more meaningful you have to put in the effort and if if you call that as rigor that is what it is you will not get time to just while away on campus and let me make one big statement here if somebody is joining the program thinking that last year it was 100% placement so i'll join the program i will not do anything and my 100% is guaranteed please think again there is no guarantee there is no assurance we guarantee companies coming on campus cracking them getting placed is all a factor of how you get prepared in terms of whatever we suggest you on campus so is it going to be rigorous the answer most probably is yes that's why i keep saying that learn to enjoy rigor okay so anirban can we now go to the mop part or is there anything else so i need to answer let us let us go to the mop part i am i'm keeping a track sure. of so post mop we'll come back and we'll take all the individual questions let us complete the mop part we'll come back and answer each and every question of yours okay right? okay right okay now uh, let me brief you on the mop part now this management orientation program uh, we call it as abhyodaya now abhyodaya is preparing you or the aim of abhyodaya is to prepare you for the term that is going to start from 4th july and the terms after that now you may ask me sir what is this preparation why do we need to prepare now see management program is a program where people from different backgrounds can join the program somebody could be an engineer somebody could be a commerce graduate there are some dental surgeons there are some dentists there are some pharma graduates you could have people from liberal arts background so we get students from all kinds of background we have to prepare all these students for the common experience of a pgdm program so we design this two week orientation module whereby we can help the engineers in getting used to the concepts of accounting we can help the commerce graduates and art graduates to appreciate the purpose of quantitative techniques and quantitative methods and we can help everybody who is joining the program to understand what are the different pedagogical tools we are going to use on campus for example case study a very commonly used method but one of the most misunderstood method done by many mediocre colleges so we have got sessions where we will tell you how case study is going to be used as a tool of teaching and tool of evaluation then we also have sessions on excel ms excel because i mean the way things are happening in the management world everything is becoming driven by data and excel is a very good data analytical tool so we have we have set aside four to five sessions for all of you to understand and know more about excel then we have sessions on how do you make impactful presentations because in a management program you are getting prepared to become a manager and a manager has to keep presenting to the team to the superior and to the subordinate so how do you make impactful presentations we have sessions on that and since most of you are coming from different places there is somebody coming from indore there could be somebody from lucknow there is a guy coming from chennai there is a girl coming from trivandrum so when all of you come from different places we are going to conduct an outbound training program and an ice breaking session on campus which will help the batch to know each other know each other in terms of appreciating getting sensitized to where you come from what is your background what i can learn from you what you can learn from me because as we go ahead in the semester more and more activities will be group driven you have to learn to work in groups you have to learn to work with people from different places so we are going to conduct outbound training program where we are going to take the complete batch to a resort and we are going to hire trainers who are going to take you through one complete day of what we call as sensitization session in terms of understanding and debriefing about your strengths weaknesses team bonding skills and so on and so forth right and we are also going to take you to a place where you start understanding social purpose through our community connect initiatives because business without a purpose is a meaningless business we want you to get oriented to that we want you to develop an appreciation for that so 
we have designed this two week orientation module where we prepare you to undergo your term programs or your your actual program starting from july 4th when i say actual your first term starting from july 4th in a very meaningful and purposeful way in addition to all the things that i have shared we also have a very unique element of the abhyudaya program called the leadership series now here we are going to get about five or six leaders from different walks of life we are going to have a ceo sharing his or her experience as to how it looks from the top in terms of managing business we are going to invite one of our distinguished alumni to talk to you as 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 it what it means to wear the sleeve of imt on your chest we are going to have a motivational speaker somebody like sister shivani from the brahma kumari uh, group or maybe somebody from art of living who are going to share their views and ideas on how, what it takes to have emotional wellness because that is required correct and then we are also going to have speakers who will come and talk about the community development initiatives people who have been there who have done that so all in all your abhyoday or orientation program has got five or six very important elements preparation for sessions getting acquainted to the campus resources that you you will know the faculty because there is a session called know your faculty you are going to be informed about the databases and softwares which are available on campus right then the academic program office will come and give you a detailed presentation on how you understand the student handbook and what are the rules and regulations for you to move from term 1 to term 2 how is your uh, evaluation going to be done uh, because the, the kind of evaluation we follow is completely different than what you are used to in the traditional university system we prepare for one day and we give the exam for 100 marks in imt by the time you come to the end term examination 60% evaluation is over we call this as during the term assignment and during the term evaluation continuous evaluation so how you get prepared to that so all these things are going to be shared with you in this very well designed program called abhyoday and therefore if possible all of you should attend this unless until you are not able to attend because of your examinations because if you miss it you are going to miss a lot right so this is in brief about abhyoday anirban have i missed anything no sir it's it's in detail so we'll just take a pause and we'll take a few questions which is pertaining to abhyoday mop only yeah so there are there are some students who are due to their final year exams they they would not be able to attend mop so they would like to know from our end ke once they come back and join by that time say mop is already over they are coming for term classes so how can we help them to to connect with mop and at least get some things in in back what has happened so that is that is something which they would like to understand so this is a good question but the answer is this see as far as let's say there is an engineer who is writing his examination and is not able to come to the campus on 28th and is only reporting on 3rd july because of examinations i i i repeat because of examinations in that case we will help that engineer or we will help that student to have extra sessions with our accounting faculty so that you can be prepared for the regular classes on accounting which will be additional sessions now because you have missed the sessions you have to have additional sessions with the faculty and faculty will be more than willing to help you but for things like leadership series outbound training program leadership connect community initiatives these things cannot be repeated because these are more like events so they have happened and they have happened again sessions on excel you can always talk to the faculty of the business analytics area and like in the case of accounting the faculty will be more than happy to help you in understanding those three four basic sessions on excel that is possible so wherever it is about a session in terms of subject those things in discussion with the faculty can be rearranged or rescheduled in the additional hours beyond the regular class schedule 
but those who which are more like events like going out for one day in one day outbound training program visiting a place for community connect all these things cannot be repeated but what we are doing in abhyudha is just the start corporate interactions leadership series orientations interaction with guests interaction with corporate functionaries in different courses is a very important characteristic of program offering at imt hyderabad so though you may miss mop such kind of things are going to continue in the semesters also right so my short answer to the question is subject oriented things that you miss can be can be entertained or can be answered or taken care with additional sessions beyond the regular class schedule but things which are more in the event nature they cannot be repeated but you have to take it from there talk to your friends and then participate in activities which happen as we go ahead in the semester sorry trimester thank you sir so uh, if you uh, we have all you have already given a broad outline of what is going to happen in mop so there are some students who who are trying to understand ke whether they will receive a schedule of mop beforehand you will be receiving the schedule of mop i mean uh, maybe about two weeks in advance okay we should give an idea about how it has been organized in fact i have it but it is not final there it is there are certain things to be changed so i'm not sharing with you but yes you will be receiving the mop schedule at least two weeks in advance right thank you thank you sir now uh, if you have anything else you can move ahead there are certain questions which are generic questions not pertaining to mop itself say for example what are generic class timings hostel timings so if you want to take it up now we can go ahead or else if you have something else you can nee an anirban let me answer this i mean see somebody who is coming to do a management program uh, if you guys are more engrossed in terms of class timing kya hoga hostel timing kya hoga bhai you are coming to the campus right so you have to come to the campus and get used to the campus timings will it really make a difference to you if i say that the classes starts at 9:30 and end at 4:30 and then when you come suddenly you realize a faculty called dhananjay singh he is scheduling in his class in the night at 8 pm 8 to 9:30 pm because in my class i am getting a practitioner who can only come at that time what will you do then will you come to me and say ki sir aap schedule nahi kar sakte ho hum schedule karenge aapko inform karke karenge so i think these kind of questions like what is the class timing and all ye sab these are all if i can use the word childish questions now guys first thing you all have to learn is to start feeling like a manager please get into that mindset you are not doing a routine pg course where if i say ki classes ends at 4 o'clock so somebody who is living in hyderabad can plan ki they will call your friends and say yaar 5 baje aa jana hum log bahar nikal jayenge aapko itne assignments milenge ki aap bahar nikal nahi paoge aap so my sincere suggestion to all of you would be please do not really get bothered about the class timing officially it is 9:30 to 4 or it may be 9:30 to 3 but believe me 3 ke baad aapko class mein itna assignment milega dheere dheere ki 3 ke baad wo kab raat ka 9 ho jayega and when it will become 12 and when it becomes 2 you not even be aware okay so class timings really don't make a difference after term 2 and 3 probably will be working 24 by 7 is what i can say right thank you sir sir you brought in this point practitioner session see many mm. of us students in our graduation days we all are uh, acquainted with a term called guest lectures but this practitioner session is totally different from what a guest lecture is so if you can just throw some light people quick guest students here would be able to understand the meaning of practitioner session and what is the impact because they'll hear a lot about practitioner session from alumni if you can just give them some insights on that okay so let me give an example so see i teach a course called brand management and i also teach a course called sales and channel management these are elective papers in my course on brand management let's say i have got 20 sessions right so in this 20 sessions four to five sessions which means some part of the course i will speak to somebody working in the corporate working in the branding domain 
and request that person to conduct four to five sessions on that particular topic with the business orientation and that is part of the course work so it is not that i got somebody for one day or half a day and that person gave me some gyan and went back whoever is the practitioner will come and teach a good four to five sessions in every course now for my course on brand management i had the chief brand manager of cash coro who is currently working with dine out i think most of these guys would be aware of it so she came and shared her perspective as to how branding happens at dine out the topic i had given to her was creating and sustaining brands in uncertain times so she did a five session schedule on that and that is what we call as practitioner session in my sales and channel management course i interacted and then i invited the regional sales manager of voltas limited so that gentleman came and when i say came because it was online and things were happening online they did the session online so the session was done online with this gentleman shared his experience in terms of managing the channel for voltas limited in his capacity as regional sales manager so practitioner session for us is a a, a component of the course delivery it is not ki one fine day somebody will come and then all of us will assemble and then there will be some bouquet given to some guests and the guests will come and give some gyan and leave no it is much more engaging and much more involving and i get to choose my my practitioner i will not talk to the cro the cro can suggest to me but i will pick the practitioner i will invite the practitioner i will take the practitioner to the class and me and the practitioner are responsible for the delivery of the course outcomes so together we do that thank you sir so basically practitioner here if the takeaway can be as an external faculty who co teach with internal faculty on certain Correct. practical components correct right. so if you can just uh, mention something on the library facility in terms of uh, when is the library open how can people access the library so guys guys without any doubt i can say we have got one of the most well equipped library at our disposal you 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 talk in terms of books in terms of titles when i say books physical books titles periodicals magazines newspapers and databases you name a book you name a database and that is there in the library students can access the databases remotely on campus and outside the campus right in case you believe that there is some book which you need on campus and it is not there through the faculty concerned you just need to submit a requisition to the librarian in 48 hours the book will be there in the library so i will be more than happy and i'll be really delighted and glad to know that the students of this batch are visiting the library more because that will very clearly mean that you are making use of the library resources currently frankly as a faculty my one big area of concern is i think my students are not making the best use of the library that we have we have one of the very well equipped library not only in hyderabad probably i can say in india databases books periodicals magazines foreign national you name anything it is there right please make as much use of the library as possible either on campus or remotely Okay, so before i take up this question with professor uh, let me clarify to all the students here who have raised this question so this particular session we are doing to facilitate uh, your journey of joining the campus getting onboarded for the program right so we may not be able to get into very detailed placement information this offer and that offer in in terms of internship also i have seen certain questions so we may not be able to get into very data centric questions however we we can give you an outline of the internship process how it happens right why do we lay so very high emphasis on internship what is happening out there and there are certain very unique components of imt hyderabad internship i'll request professor to uh, specify on those pointers and placement process as an overall how does it happen right what are very important pointers 
sir if you can just uh, share your uh, thoughts on these two aspects very brief without going into very data centric component okay so first i mean uh, one more thing anirban uh, i'll answer this uh, i saw a question repeatedly coming from somebody on kolkata university examination i believe you can throw some light on that yeah, after I'll my answer that. i have noted that question it has come from anirban so <laughs> i'll take up that i i have seen that question and the name is anirban your audio it's it's your... anirban choudhury acha that's okay no problem anirban will be answered by anirban theek hai uh, so uh, i all i i know for sure and i just said that you are all joining the program because you want to be placed our detailed placement report is on the website okay you can check the details you can check the name of the company check the offers uh, stream wise all that is there on the uh, on the website but i'll just give you broad context of of what placement is was internship is in fact sessions have also happened on this uh, at some point or the other so internship at imt hyderabad is a well thought out process where the place where you go and do the internship a faculty is allocated to you and the faculty will visit you at your internship place not once not twice but three times first time the faculty will let's say you are doing internship in kolkata with itc and i am in hyderabad and you are my intern so when you go to kolkata after a week i'll come and visit you at kolkata talk to you and your company guide and set right your internship objectives as to what are the things you need to work on what is expected of you what is the target given to you all these details will be discussed and finalized then again i'll come after a month to do the first interim evaluation and follow it up after another month for the final evaluation so we at imt hyderabad take our internships very seriously because we want the interns to make a mark and work towards converting that into a ppo and also want to continue the connect with the industry so therefore a faculty at our cost will be traveling to your internship place whether you are in kolkata or chandi or indore or delhi or gurugram or hyderabad or bangalore or wherever it is other than certain tier three cities in those cases we will call us we will be calling you to the head office of that particular company and we will be doing the evaluation there but the faculty will visit you that is internship placements see i can share with you the data of placement uh, and that data is there and and the data you can find from any source right you can talk to the students who are on campus and you get very good data but i like to share my views as to what we do so that we get those kind of results right so your classes and courses are going on we have involved corporate in that we have got subject boards which are going to revise the courses and make amendments to the courses in addition to all this the moment you come to term 2 uh, sorry your second year your second year starts with your mandatory preparation for cracking aptitude test and clearing personal interview through an agency we have signed up an agency which only comes on board to prepare all the students all the students on cracking aptitude test and interviews and gds and other selection criteria point number 1 and that is a very well designed intensive course which runs for almost 2 months by the time you come to the end of that few companies start visiting the campus because that becomes september end and by october placement starts october or october 15th onwards after that what happens is we also conduct what we call as alumni interaction series so let's say hexa where is expected to come on my campus now last year i would have placed two students from hex from my campus on to hexaware we talked to those guys and asked them to share their experiences and their views in terms of how was the placement for them when they sat for placement with hexaware let's say some other company has come wipro digital the same thing we do with the alumni from wipro digital then we also try to connect with somebody from a corporate who is working in that particular line and that role so that they can share their inputs then the faculty teaching that particular course in terms of subject also shares what is called as an orientation with all the students who are sitting for that particular placement so this way placements at imt hyderabad is not just about a number or a role or not about some figure 
placements at IIT Hyderabad is a well thought out process. And guys, believe me, I'm a faculty, and and I, I'm teaching brand and sales and all. So with that experience, I can tell you that the process we have in place is very good and very well aligned for you to be placed. If you are not getting placed, that means you are done something terribly wrong. In fact, my favorite line is. इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज में फेल होने के लिए मेहनत करना पड़ता है अगर आप मेहनत नहीं करोगे तो फेल नहीं हो सकते हो क्योंकि सिस्टम वैसा बना हुआ है आई विल नॉट बी रॉन्ग इफ आई से यू नॉट गेटिंग प्लेस एट आई एम टी हैदराबाद कैंपस इसका मतलब आपने मेहनत किया है एंड आई एम श्योर यूल नॉट डू द एफर्ट नॉट टू गेट प्लेस यूल पुट इन सम एफर्ट सम एफर्ट विल गेट यू प्लेसमेंट गुड एफर्ट विल गेट यू अ वेरी गुड प्लेसमेंट बट आई रिपीट We are not a placement agency. So, अगर कोई मुझसे पूछेगा कि सर विल आई बी इज देर ए हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटी ऑफ प्लेसमेंट द आंसर इज एन ओ नो इज देर ए हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटी ऑफ एटी ऑर्ड कंपनी कमिंग ऑन कैंपस द आंसर इज येस प्रिपेयरिंग यू फॉर कैंपस द आंसर इज येस डूइंग ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ सेशन द आंसर इज येस यू टॉकिंग टू धनंजय सिंह और समबडी एल्स द आंसर इज येस ओके thank you thank you so much sir i'll just add one point to this uh, what uh, professor said on conducting of alumni sessions before uh, the interview process where in those alumni are from that respective company there is a very unique name which we have given it's called words of wisdom that's that's what we have given to them and there is one particular program which we have initiated from last year it's called a mentor mentee program where in each student on campus is allocated a very very senior uh, corporate fun uh, practitioner as mentor and along with your faculty throughout your two years you will be guided by that particular mentor trust me that has got a huge impact on our last year placements and things have gone uh, in leaps and bounds right so that is that is something mentor mentee concept is a very very unique concept which adds lot of value to a person's transformation within this two years right now moving ahead again we will come back to the questions now i'll just take few questions which uh, has come across uh, atm facility yes we do have an atm on campus so uh, we have an atm facility that is there on campus itself uh, in terms of medical facilities let me give you the pointers what all we have so we have a separate clinic which is there in the campus right that's open we have a on campus resident doctor which i mean what i mean is that it's not like a doctor comes from a, some other area in the morning for 2 hours and in the evening he is int hyderabad employee he is our resource and he stays on my campus so 24 by 7 i have a doctor on campus that is what i mean by resident doctor you have a student insurance policies you will be given those cards that is applicable when you are on campus if you are moving to your hometown for, during some vacation you have to submit that and go that is only apl applicable when you are on campus and with that there are certain relationships with the decent hospitals nursing homes which are across hyderabad you have night vehicles on campus and you have our own ambulance on campus to take care of such things so we are all aware we have been running this campus from the last 10 to 15 years and all these medical facilities which are required uh, are there in place uh, moving ahead somebody has asked me a question in terms of the scholarship basically this was raised by Uh, on female scholarship i'll cover the merit based scholarship here as well see by this scholarship we we mean that it is it is either merit based or 5% scholarship which will be given to female students now as student you cannot minus it from your fees you you will be paying your fees like any other student right suppose your your first term fees is 3 lakh 13000 right in in case you you have to get a 5% uh, waiver on that after you pay the fees and you join the program that 5% will be given back to you that is applicable for each and every term i hope i have made it clear so any time when you are paying the fees you cannot deduct that 5% or for merit based scholarship i'm sure there are a lot of students here who have 90 plus percentile in cat zat or 650 plus score composite score in gmat they are eligible for a 40% fee waiver on the academic fees now you cannot my deduct that fees and pay it to the institute you will pay your normal fees as per the fee structure your 40% will be given back to you that's what is the meaning of scholarship right uh next question laundry facility 
yes we do have laundry facility the portion will come uh, i feel thrice or four times a week right and there are separate uh, hostel blocks there are four hostel blocks block wise room wise he will be collecting your clothes and he'll uh, give it back to you that's a paid laundry service which is there in place now laundry thing is done uh, there are there have been certain questions i'll just uh, give my answer respond to that uh, some students are writing that their loan is in process and they would require some fee extension i would request all of you to take this up separately with the admissions department itself right you can you can be in touch with admission department representatives and you can inform them on your individual status of loan what is happening and all i think they are the, they will be able to guide you on that so that's that's something which you can separately take it up with the admissions department let us not do a common discussion here uh, now coming back to your uh, mark sheet so <laughs> somebody who has written that the exams will happen fine is i'm i'm assuming that you are in your final year or maybe your sixth semester or maybe your eighth semester if that's a four year program <laughs> so if your exams are scheduled somewhere by june or maybe first week of july we don't know you have to tell us that examination schedule so you might be having your mark sheet till the last semester which could be either fifth semester or seventh semester right so when you are reporting and you are you are asked about your last semester mark sheet by default you will not have it because you have just given uh, given the exam recently so you have to fill an undertaking for that you submit your all the five semester mark sheet or all the seven semesters mark sheet which all you have submit that for any semester which you do not have the mark sheet so it could be an example the last one you have to submit an undertaking for that where intentively you mention that as per my university guidelines or my in previous institute guidelines i'll be in a position to give you that particular document by so and so date so you fill an undertaking and you submit it to academic program office right so this is applicable for all who are there in your final year and are writing your final ex year or semester exams by end of june hello hello sir yes please sir my inquiry is that there is a separate uh, for coding and lodging sir fees for coding and lodging anirban mai answer karta hu i think anirban has answered it and i don't know why this question keeps coming the fee of 12 lakh 3000 includes your your accommodation on campus your academic fee your fooding your bedding your lodging everything other than your pocket expenses we are making it very very clear 12 lakh 3000 two years fee for accommodation food academics everything i would not like to now listen to this question again please because we have given enough clarifications on this mujhe samajh mein nahi aata bar bar yahi question repeat kyun hota hai ha aap logo ko dekhne mein lagta hoga ki fee itna kam kaise ho sakta hai to fees kam hai to hai and at the cost of sounding bit bra i mean uh, maybe bragging about it see guys you can compare the fee of imt hyderabad in terms of what you get at the end of the two years and during two years and compare with some of the very good institutions i would not be wrong in saying that we have got one of the lowest fee component and probably therefore a very good roi i don't think there are any there are any campus in and in, in in india i am talking about the reputed college cam campuses where you get an independent room which is inclusive of your fee without sharing independent accommodation independent room so we have the facilities we have accordingly designed the program so my final point again your 12 lakh 3000 includes your hostel accommodation your mess charges your academic fee everything that you need to pay for and including your placement baad mein koi mat puchna ki placement ka fee alag hai kya nahi hai we are not some xyz college guys what we commit is there ha huh. do i need to pay for my pocket yes you have to pay from your pocket agar aapko bahar khana khana jana wo aapko ye nahi mat karna ki that also we need to pay to you it takes care of everything required for you to undergo your two years program revati go ahead with a question sir uh, regarding this uh, transfer between imts is there any scope uh, in case there are uh, vacancies is there any scope no there is no transfer. transfer there is no transfer 
once you join one imt or once you are given offer of one imt other than the offer coming from the central team there is no offer there is no more transfers okay thank you sir right okay let me let me uh, sir take up a question and then you can also i'll request you to share your inputs on this uh, major minor concept so there have been certain questions where people have uh, requested us to uh, shed some light about majoring in a particular subject and how do you choose that so i'll just take up that question and then i'll request you to share your inputs now students listen to me very carefully on this so that you have a clarity on what we are talking about here i'll i'll request all of you present here to pay attention see irrespective of the program you have enrolled pgdm pgdm marketing pgdm financial management your first year is absolutely same right so there is no such difference all students irrespective of your programs are taught all the same set of subjects term 1 term 2 term 3 it is all the same now moving ahead you go for your internship after term 3 and then you come back in after in term 4 so from term 4 onwards that's your second year wherein you are supposed to choose your electives now each and every student is supposed to choose 12 elective subjects 12 elective subjects now the different area say for example marketing finance hr operations analytics it general management or strategy all these disciplines or all these areas will offer you a bouquet of electives say for example marketing offers you around 14 or 17 subjects finance offer you around 16 subjects operations offer you around 12 to 14 subjects right and likewise in all the areas now to major in a discipline you have to minimum choose six subjects from that area so if somebody here wants to major in say for example finance has to at least select six subjects from the bouquet of finance electives so out of those 13 14 how many subjects are there offered in finance domain they have to minimum choose six out of that area to major in a discipline to minor in a discipline you have to at least select four subjects from that particular area right so suppose i have i want to do finance as major and i, I want to take analytics as minor so i need at least four pa papers or four subjects from the domain of analytics correct so now that we have understood how many subjects do we need to take to major in an area and how many subjects do we need to take minor in uh, to to have a minor in my kit now let us understand one more concept which i have been getting lot of calls so i just thought of taking this up in this session what could be the probable options that's what people came back to me sir can i have a dual major can i do this now let me give you a clarity on this what are the probable options a straight away i can do a dual major 6 plus 6 right b i can do a major and minor i can pick up six i can pick up four now here there could be two variations let me clear it up see i can i can take seven subjects from my major area and five from my minor so i'm done with 12 right but say i i i have taken six from an area and i have taken four so i have a major i have a minor but still i am left out with another two subjects because we have we have an understanding that we need to select 12 now these two papers i can again take from some other area which are kind of my backup or support papers say for example i want to go with marketing as major operations as minor say for example novartis amazon which offers market which offers marketing plus uh, operations profile correct i also need to be good in data crunching data in, uh, interpretation all and also should have certain understanding of usage of statistical tools so what i have taken and done is i have taken six subjects from marketing four from operations two subjects i have taken from the area of analytics which has helped me to understand these particular subjects and moving into that particular trade the third option many a times we have observed that there are a lot of students who also goes for single major they do not have double major dual major or they do not have a mind say as a student i want to go into finance i want to go into financial research kind of profile say for example equity derivatives arbitrage hedging such kind of profile what i have done is i have taken seven eight papers from finance to me that becomes my major now i understand that to go into this particular domain i need to be very good in terms of data interpretation and also usage of statistical tools what i have done is i have not taken a minor but i have taken certain i have hand picked certain subjects from operations and hand picked certain subjects from analytics which are kind of my support papers for back up to the seven or eight papers which i have taken from finance so i'm very clear that i would like to go into this kind of profile 
I have taken as my single major and I have taken some papers which are kind of packed, right? So this is, this is how you decide the major minor. Now you need not do it in the first year and both me and professors request would be you give yourself a one year time, give equal importance to all the subjects which are taught in your first year so that you are at a place to relate the dots along with your in consultation with your faculty, your external guides, so that you are, you are a place to decide what could be my major, what could be my minor, and which are the subjects I should choose from that particular area. So you do not have an understanding of one particular subject from a domain, right? So you cannot decide at this very point of time whether I should have that subject in my kitty or not. When a faculty explains you what is the subject all about, why should you take it? What are you going to learn out, out of it? That is the time when you are able to relate the thoughts and you're in a place to decide with, to choose that subject. So let us keep that decision for second year because that is the time when we have to take it up. For the first year, come with a very open mind wherein pay equal importance to all the subjects across first three terms which are taught to you. Okay? Uh, with this, I'll end here. I'll request professor if uh, you can share your inputs on this. No, no, I have nothing to share, Anirban. You have been very detailed on that. So I think all the queries probably would have been answered. Nothing to add on that. Divya, you have raised your hand. If you, if you have anything to ask, you can go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, my question is like, as a girl, can we wear formal dresses or skirts? Uh, would that include in formals or are we supposed to wear just pants for the formals? Come again, What's your, uh, I'm confused actually. Uh, can we wear formal dresses or skirts uh, for formal wears or are we supposed to wear just pants? I think you can wear anything which is formal or which is uh, which is casual, which you can probably dress and go out and also there is no hard and fast rule about it. And when you put on the blazer, it is it is advisable. It looks good that you when you wear a blazer, you have your pants on. So beyond that skirt and what that, I, I, I don't know, I can really get into all that details, but simply what I can say is, see, we are not very pushy about the dress code, but we are very regimental about you not coming and presenting yourself in a very casual manner. So if I'm, let's say I've invited a very senior practitioner for my class. So when you are coming to the class, you just cannot be walking in a very casual way in the class. There has to be some seriousness. There has to be some professionalism. So simply what we are saying is kindly dress professionally when you come to the class. That's it. Need not have blazers and coat and tie and all. In fact, I'm, I'm one who really does not bother about it. If I, you have the uh, wherewithal to study and you're interested, uh, blazer will not really play a role. But is there are certain occasions where we demand that we will let you know. I think we are almost done with with all the pointers that we had to share. Until and unless there are anything which are coming from there, from the student side. Uh, I just now noticed a question: How can we avail basic facilities like haircut and all? I mean, all these facilities are there in Chamchabad, right? So, so you 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 will be able to uh, get those informations once you are there on campus. It's just four five kilometers away, right? And there are ample number of uh, such uh, facilities out there. I don't see any more questions coming up. Anybody has anything uh, more? You can just unmute and uh, raise. Yes, Revati. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, regarding the second year electives. Uh, during the course of first year, is there any scientific assessment of the students' abilities? And then, how uh, uh, do you suggest that, or uh, it is entirely left to the student to decide? Okay, I, I'll answer this. So, uh, Revati Satluri, uh, what you call as scientific assessment, we call it as psychometric assessment. So, in fact, when you come to the campus as part of your Abhidev program, you are going to be administered a psychometric test. And we have got a three credit course on psychometric assessment. So through, on the basis of assessment, you will be told about your, your, your personality traits, your strengths and weaknesses. And on the basis of that, you can take an uh, informed decision or maybe a more uh, thought out decision in terms of where you would like to specialize and what you would like to do. 
But other than that, as Anirban has already said, the fact that you are going through term one, two, and three is good enough for you to start understanding where your interest is. I have done it. Anirban would have done it, and I see no reason why you should not be able to do that. But uh, in addition to that, we also have sessions from the faculty, sessions with the senior batch, sessions from the corporate. and the psychometric assessment which will help you in understanding your personality trait and accordingly taking a call on your likely specialization anirban will take two more questions and then announce the competition and close because it's already 1 12 yeah, just if you can just uh, share uh, some insights on the clubs and committees and what is the procedure of people joining and what are their takeaways from these clubs and important how is it impacting their overall career if you can just share something on that right so i'll be very brief on clubs and committees point number 1 there are enough clubs and committees on campus when i say enough i really mean that i if i'll not be wrong if i say there are more than 15 clubs and committees each area has a club general areas also have club there are clubs for poetry there are clubs for uh, uh public speaking there are clubs in marketing clubs in operations so there are clubs in almost all the areas and there are view committees which play a very important role like student committee of placement is is there media relations committee is there so what you can do is once you come to the campus all these clubs and committees are managed by students under the guidance of a faculty who is a mentor and all these details will be shared by the students who are part of this conversion group who are from imt who are doing their internship people like abhishek and aditi and others you can talk to them many clubs and committees many opportunities to participate just one suggestion do not get carried away by so many clubs and committees on campus kindly be very judicious in the choice of the club you would like to be part of so that you can go there contribute and add on some very important tangible benefits on your resume do not just participate in a club for the heck of participating there has to be meaning behind it so you may join a club called synergy which is the hr club or you could join marketex mantra which is a marketing club or opus kriya which is the operations club so so many clubs and committees and guys let me tell you the kind of competitions that these clubs and committees conduct and the kind of selection process they have is very rigorous but all these things happen beyond the academic schedule starting in the night around 8:39 and goes up till 1:30 to o'clock in a very religious and a very dedicated manner you are done with with all this sir you can you can now i'll request you to move on to the competition and announce that right so uh as i said the best for the last now see guys uh, we have been we have been uh, getting questions regarding what i do in the time that i have so that i can be better prepared when i come to campus we have told you that you need to learn excel we have told you that if possible you can learn digital marketing and all that but we also told you that you have to learn to appreciate and understand business news because that is what you are going to study so we are very serious about it and for that what we are planning is kindly listen to me and a detailed mail will follow after that so starting from tomorrow kindly start reading a business newspaper or start understanding and reading business news because we are going to look at the business news starting from tomorrow till 28th of june okay till the time you are coming to the campus and from those newspapers business newspapers we are going to create multiple choice questions and once you reach the campus on 1st of july we will be administering a test for all the students who are interested to write the test it is not mandatory but i will suggest all of you should write the test and just to give it a more serious orientation we have we have also set aside very good prize money for that so what we have thought is those students who have written the test which is understanding of business news and questions on those business news starting from tomorrow till 23 or 24th of june those who get the first prize those who get scored the highest marks will get a cash award of 30000 rupees 
those who get the second prize or who have got the second rank in terms of marks will be getting a cash prize of 20000 and the one who gets third will be getting a cash award of 10000 is there any consolation prize the answer is no is there any other prize the answer is no first prize 30000 second prize 20000 and third prize 10000 for the simple thing that you start reading business news follow it up and start developing that as an habit and somebody very great has told which i remember very well that if you can do something for a 21 day period it becomes a habit we are actually driven by that today is 29th starting from tomorrow by the time you come to campus it will be exactly 21 or a day more than that do it on a daily basis for half an hour or one hour on a daily basis and then come to the campus and then we are going to administer this test on 1st of July. First price 30,000, second price 20,000, third price 10,000. Price is not important. We are more interested in you nurturing and developing this habit. So kindly start doing it. Right? As I said, detailed mail will follow in this. But the competition is this and this is already announced to you. So start working towards that. So, kal se economic times ya business standard ghar pe mangao aur padho. Just browse through that. Anirban will take maybe another two, three questions and then wind up. We, we are almost done. Right. Uh, there is a question. I'll just uh, request you if you can just, uh, if, if, if they miss the MOP, right, or they, they miss a couple of classes even in the, for the first term, this is only based on if their examination. Suppose the examination happens and then they miss the MOP and they miss a couple of classes. Will that candidate be marked absent in the classes or will that have an impact on the um, of, of his entire marks and all in term one? Because we have that 70% marks component, 75%. So if you can just share your thoughts on that. Okay. So see, as far as MOP is concerned, in case you miss the MOP because you, have, you, do not, you are having examinations, you do not lose much in terms of marks and grades. Okay, this is preparation for the term. We want you to be there. We want you to learn that so that you are very well prepared. Those who attend will be very well prepared. Okay. Let's say you are also missing some classes after the term has started. So we have a very simple rule that your attendance has to be 75% and above. By missing one or two classes or three, four classes, you are still able to maintain 75% attendance, even by joining late and you are able to cover the syllabus. We have no concern. We have no issue, but you may miss one or two evaluation components, but you can talk to the faculty and subject to the approval of the academic program office under the guidance of Dean. Such requests will be considered. But in case you are, you are missing classes whereby your attendance goes below 75, then it's a concern. Now, these questions cannot be answered in a forum like this. It is one to one case. So in that case, that student has to write a mail after registration to the Dean and the Dean office will communicate with you. Let's say I have a situation whereby I can only come to the campus. I'm just giving an example. I can only come to the campus after 16th August. I think highly unlikely that you'll be allowed to join the program because you'll be missing almost eight to 10 sessions. And that way you cannot cover up. Most of the evaluations are done and dusted. But few exceptions whereby you are able to maintain the attendance and you will be able to cover the gap that has that, that has been come on your own efforts, you will certainly be allowed. But such requests will be handled by the Dean's office. Thank you, sir. So we will we'll come to an end of this particular session. I'll just take the last question and one point I have to share with that note will uh, end. Uh, we do not have separate charges for the gym. So the gym is on campus and students can uh, make use of it. There is a student club, which is called Athflex. They monitor that and there are certain timings which they will create. And based on that, students can make use of gym. There is, there is no separate cost attached to it. Uh, laundry charges as of now, neither me or Professor Dhananjay will be able to tell you what is the exact laundry, laundry is paid. Laundry is paid. No, they it know. is paid, but exact laundry cost. What is the cost? Uh, we uh, do you have an idea? No, I, I don't have an idea, cost? but jo, jo baki laundry ka cost hota hai, jis city mein, wo bhi uh, right. bhi so only thing I know it is pair wise. 
so you can you can check that with any students who are there on campus they will be able to tell you those figures as a student to learn to wash their laundry they need to become independent so with this uh, i come to the end i i will uh, tell all the students who are present here we have an official whatsapp group which is which is there from the institute end to help you with your uh, queries and all in case any one of you present here you are not part of it you can kindly connect the admission helpline number and request them to uh, i mean put you in the group they, and even just one moment there is somebody called darren who is asking something darren can you unmute and ask your question darren okay sarvesh go ahead uh sir uh, what uh, is there any particular dress code for the abu the mop orientation program like no 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 there is no dress code for the first day when we come no. uh, for on 28th no only smart casuals that's it okay okay thank you sir darren is saying there is lot of commotion at home so he cannot unmute and ask no darren you can talk to us later on okay ठीक आहे रिबन नाउ यू कॅन क्लोज आर आई नो नो सॉरी यू गो हेड यू हेड समथिंग टू आंसर नो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू से दैट एनीबॉडी प्रेजेंट हियर हु इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप काइंडली इन्फॉर्म द एडमिशंस डिपार्टमेंट टॉक टू देम ऑन द हेल्पलाइन नंबर्स दे विल हेल्प यू टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप सो यू विल आल्सो गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन वी पोस्ट देयर नाउ देयर इज देयर इज वन स्टूडेंट पूर्णा विजय ही वांट्स टू ब्रिंग प्रिंटर yeah you bring the printer if you can nobody stops you but you have option to print things on campus agar aapko lana hai you can bring we have no problem somebody is writing my question sir see it it, it may be you have posted it before so if you can repeat your question we'll take it up i don't remember what was your question shubham you have now mentioned my question just one moment anirban shubham uh blazer no blazer will not be given from the institute see this is a students a blazer has to i mean uh, you have to procure your own uh, i mean your what do you call your blazer institute will not give that regarding your first installment fee payment you will be given a date or it could be there in your offer letter follow that in case you have any doubts on that or you want to talk to the admissions department kindly connect admission department on the helpline number and inform them about your name application number and try to understand on this particular component so uh, mostly we are done sir right so i think we can we can uh, close this any particular queries i mean i'm sure see we have been seeing batches getting onboarded from last so many years so there is no end to end uh, it so kindly write to us or maybe you can be a part of the whatsapp group or you can talk to the admissions helpline number they will always be there to help you on these uh, kind of answers information and all so um, anirban and prepare yourself well yes sir i'll just add one final point and then you, we can close it so yeah. see uh, uh, i would not like to now see questions which says uh, do is there a fee for this is there a fee for that and all let me make it very very clear your fee of 12 lakh 3000 is all inclusive and i mean all inclusive hostel accommodation mess charges academic fee books accessing databases library you will be given books for every prescribed course all this is all inclusive right so do not any i mean mess charges i mean your your uh, uh, using of gym uses of doctor all this is inclusive so do not read too much between the lines okay we are very straight forward thing very straight forward thing so do not post any such question on this now and uh, i think uh, we can appreciate the fact that you guys have joined the session uh, it means that you are making an honest attempt to know as much as possible and we also uh, want to give you as That's much information as possible is somebody saying That's something pehla saal to pura padhayenge unmute karke baat karo mute karke baat karo 
पूरा कराएंगे पहले साल में सही बात राइट सो थैंक यू ऑल फॉर अटेंडिंग द सेशन एंड थैंक्स अलॉट अनिर्बन फॉर योर एनर्जेटिक योर यूजुअल पार्टिसिपेशन एंड लेट मी ऑल्सो थैंक दिव्या कार्तिक फॉर हैविंग ऑर्गेनाइज द सेशन एंड I think the question and answers continues. Let's not stop with this. So we are there. We will help you out, and looking forward to welcoming you all on campus. And even if you have got anything else to say, or as we can mind. Nothing more, sir. Nothing more. Thank you to all the students from batch twenty to twenty four. Look forward to see you on campus. All right. See, you are Thank a very, you, very unique batch because after two years, uh, all the institutes are getting an opportunity to welcome students physically. Right. So, so that that's why you are you are very close to us. Look forward to see you on campus. thank you professor for sparing your time and being a part of here uh, thanks divya and kartik for organizing this session right thank you all thank you for your thanks bye bye thank you thank you thank you